Hi, welcome to the Acumen EPM Microsoft Project 2010 training series. I'm sure you remember in our last video we looked at resource pools, where we saw how to view a resources allocation across different projects. Continuing the theme of consolidating projects to simplify their management, I'm here today to show you how to create a maps master project. So, what are master projects for? First, it allows you to consolidate views of your progress across all projects. Second, it can arrange projects into hierarchical structure, which can reflect their strategic alignment within programs and portfolios. Additionally, it allows reporting at program and portfolio level, rather than just within individual projects. So, let's go on and begin creating our master projects. In it we will group projects firstly into programs, and then those programs into a portfolio. So we'll start with four projects I have pre-created. As you can see, they're named projects A to D. I will include projects A and B into program 1, and projects C and D into program 2. We'll then group both programs into a portfolio. So let's create our first program. First, open a new file, then go to File Save As, and I'll call this file Program 1. And save. Now click on the Project tab on the ribbon, then click on the button that says Subproject. Now if you navigate down to the location of your projects, in this case projects A and B, and then click Insert. You can see both projects are summary tasks within the program. What we'll do now is expand the, in the inserted project files by clicking on the plus sign next to the project names in their individual to see their individual tasks. And congratulations! You've just created your first program. We'll repeat these steps now to create program 2. So first, make a new project, and we're going to save this file as Program 2. Once again, click on the Project tab on the ribbon. Then we'll click on the Sub-Project button. Now navigate down to where your projects are. In this case, we're using Project C and D and click on insert. There we go. Now that we have multiple programs, we can move on to creating a portfolio. This is in practice the same as creating a program, apart from the fact that we use programs instead of projects to create it. So, once again, begin by opening a new file. Once again, we go save this one. I'm going to save it as Portfolio 1. OK, now to add our programs. As before, go to the Project tab on the ribbon. Click on Subproject. Now this time we'll navigate to the location of your programs and select both of them. So project, Program 1 and 2. And click on Insert. We'll now expand the programs to show all the tasks. Congratulations! You've now created your first portfolio. It is worth noting at this point that master projects are most useful in managing competing task allocations and tracking progress. For synchronized resource allocation and management, the best option is to use a resource pool in conjunction with your master project. Click here if you need to find out how to set up a resource pool. So, to recap, in this video, we have used master projects to combine several projects into two programs, which we have in turn combined into one portfolio. So rather than reporting just on individual projects, projects reports can be consolidated at program and portfolio levels. In later videos, we will further explore the potential applications of master projects and resource pools, such as how to generate program and portfolio reports for different stakeholders. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. See you next time.